The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 15b. I am not convinced that we make a fatigue of the preposterous. I think our feeling is that in first groupings there is no knowing what will afterward be acceptable. I think that if an early biologist heard of birds that grow on trees, he should record that he heard of birds that grow on trees. Then let sorting over of data occur afterward. The one thing that we try to tone down, but that is to a great degree unavoidable, is having our data all mixed up like Long Island and Florida in the minds of early American explorers. My own notion is that this whole book is very much like a map of North America in which the Hudson River is set down as a passage leading to Siberia. We think of Monstrator and Melanocus and of the world that is now in communication with this earth. If so, secretly, with certain esoteric ones upon this earth. Whether that world's Monstrator and Monstrator's Melanocus must be the subject of later inquiry. It would be a gross thing to do. Solve up everything now and leave nothing to our disciples.